So I wasn't able to finish my entire recording all in one, so I will just finish up right now. I apologize for ending it abruptly and panicking a little bit, but now I found a way to find a part two, and now I'll tell you more about my website. All of the lessons that I've mentioned in just the last little bit can be found in my ePortfolio website. The benefit of using WordPress.com is that it's easy to create web pages there, and when you need to make a change, you can do it quickly. I built my site at first by um, putting in the headings and the pages as a shell, and then I filled in everything that I had by copying and pasting out of the Word documents I had started with the lesson plans and the philosophy of teaching, and I'd already created a lot of that, so I just added it in. And then next I searched through all my files for fun pictures that I could add to the page or graphics. And then I went back and I formatted everything to make sure that the fonts were consistent and that I proofread the text to make sure it was all my best work. The purpose of this page is ultimately to help me demonstrate my technology skills to the teachers I work with and to use it as a platform to help assist them with their everyday work and to show that I'm growing as a professional. My WordPress site has not been up and running for very long, but what I have are some various tools. I have some bars across the top, but also at a glance they are down here at the side. So I have explained everything about the learning environment that I've already shared with you in this presentation. And as a professional educator, I've added some information such as my resume, and my three-year goals, and my philosophy of teaching, my educational philosophy. And then, as I've explained them to you already, I have each of my lesson plans. Here's a graphic I created for one of my courses last year about language acquisition and immigration and things like that. It was really interesting to do. But here is one of the lessons and within the lesson I've embedded links to the different things that I've been showing you throughout this presentation. And each lesson has all the components that I talked about, especially in this one with all the YouTube PSYOP videos. And then I've listed some resources here. This page, I hope, will be the one that grows the most. I've encouraged teachers to use the Web 2.0 tools that are available that I found through Google searches. And also, here are all the checklists that I created back a few weeks ago. One of the things that really has helped me during this time was learning how to create the website checklist. I experimented with how to write on a PDF for the first time. And also, it was my first time using an Animoto video, as I showed you a little while ago. And I went beyond just using PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. Something that I do want to continue to do in the future is to use Prezi. And this will help my teachers, I think, if I can create some things that are more diagram-oriented and not just the text. A few more things just to share with you in closing that I've learned. I've learned that producing technology is even more important than receiving technology and especially in the 21st century classroom the kids cannot just be told that they need to find information online but they need to create it themselves. Some advice I have for others as I continue to do research I want to work alongside of them and inspire them to create their own video tutorials similar to what I've created for my teachers like the one where I was showing where the perm files were located and I also want them to learn how to engage more with Web 2.0 and finding out what that means. And in closing, I just want to say that this experience has really helped me to challenge myself to find new ways to create with technology and not just receive with technology. And that there's many more projects in the future or for assignments that I'd like to work on to improve the lives of the ESL teachers I work with and improve their students' lives and the lives of their families through multiple technology avenues. Thank you.